I have always been enamored with visions of the future. I can't stress how much I love science fiction. And one thing I notice in a lot of old sci-fi is the idea of food in the form of pills. I don't know if this is a statement uh, regarding a hedonistic society or perhaps some sort of refutation of overindulgence. What I do know is that this is probably not the future that we had all been hoping for. You see, I have a, let's say, sadistic co-worker that, uh, I mean, I have a very best friend who I work with at work who decided to buy me at her own expense, and God bless her, Brock's turkey dinner flavored candy corn. And upon opening the bag, my first thoughts were of if Starbucks could flatulate. It is not a pleasant smell, but maybe I'm being too quick to judge it. Like any professional, of course, I have my safety sandwich set aside, as all the professionals do. So, will 2020 be the year that we actually get into the future and discover a pill-based way to eat our meals, thus slowly ushering in a future that we can all be proud of? Or am I about to die? We'll find out. So, I've not been able to pick out all the flavors and the smell is already making my dogs run in terror. But I have one of each flavor laid out here, and the flavors are green beans, which I'm assuming is the green one, roasted turkey, which may be that one, I'm not sure, cranberry sauce, glazed ginger carrot, sweet potato pie, and one of these is supposed to be stuffing. Let me just make sure real quick. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, oh, six. There is a sixth one here. Now that we've found our mysterious lost flavor, let me know in the comments below which you think sounds the most disgusting or which you think sounds the most appetizing. Now, on to our futuristic turkey dinner. Weight Watchers, eat your heart out. I'm just going to, uh, for no particular reason, pour myself up a nice cup of tea. And let us begin. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I'm sure only good things will come of this. By the way, again, thank you, Miss Debian, for buying these for me. Let's uh, start with what I'm fairly certain is the green beans. You know, it's very important to eat your vegetables. Very, very important to eat your vegetables. That's... It's, it's oddly creamy. It's creamy and sugary as you would expect from candy corn, but it hits the nose from behind sort of like if someone in the same room is microwaving green beans. It's an experience and I'm, I'm thankful for it. Not that desperate yet. Now, we go for one of the unidentified flavors. Uh, orange. You're probably the ginger glazed carrots. Ooh, good vegetables, like I said. Hmm. Let's enjoy our carrots. Hmm. That reads more... more peach than anything. I don't get the ginger, but the taste like peach. That's actually not bad. I'm probably going to actually eat this out of the video. I mean, the entire meal is delicious. Thank you very much, Garçon. Uh, what's on? Oh, you know that actually might have been the sweet potato pie. Uh, it's certain. Let's try whatever this one is. Hmm, I'm, I'm feeling the future already. Let's see now. That's the sweet potato. 
You know, I am, I am surprisingly not as disgusted thoroughly as all, uh, as I thought this would be. Now, let me see. What is the next on? One of these has to be the turkey, and that's the one I'm kind of silently dreading. But um, let me see now. You're either the stuffing or the turkey. I'm almost positive of it. The stuffing hits sideways. Be strong, Ozzy. I know you can smell this, but... I think that's the stuffing, and that weirdly does have the oven-roasted taste to it. it. Howls within the shell of candy corn. Sweet and creamy. So if my hypothesis is correct, the last one was the stuffing, and this one candy corn right here is the roasted turkey, the main course, and just in case things go awry, I've, I've kept the cranberry sauce here because I will admit the cranberry sauce, when done right, is one of my favorite parts of a turkey dinner. So, over the lips, past the gums, watch out stomach, I'm sorry I'll pay for damages. That hits the nose really strong. <laughs> and it goes from tasting like turkey to caramel sauce to old shoe very, very quickly. <laughs> I, I, I will be introducing myself to a cup of tea quickly after that. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> it, it, mm. It's not bad, but it kind of hits the nose with the same effect of someone microwaving turkey skin the day after. God bless you, green tea. And, last but not least, my favorite of them all, cranberry sauce and rocks. I swear if you mess this up, I will use one of my many butter knives to assault your postman. Here we go. Oh, that is utterly delightful. That is very fresh, very sweet, very moist. No, Ozzy, I am not going to share. And much like a hog, I've eaten the whole thing. But. There is a part two to this. For in my travels yesterday, I discovered in Publix a rotisserie flavored, a rotisserie chicken flavored Pringle. I don't know why this exists, but it does. And in similar fashion, when I first opened it up and let it hit my nose, it hit with the force of dog food. It was not pleasant. However, if we judge it by taste, and I don't know about you, let me know in the comments below. I always eat two Pringles at a time because one's just a little bit too thin, maybe even three if I'm feeling particularly fat. Um, that is weirdly a rotisserie chicken. So, I got to thinking. Pringles, if for some reason you're watching my channel, thank you. We have rotisserie chicken. We have the standard potato original flavor. If Brock's can make a tolerable turkey dinner, fit for the future. I want to see a Pringles gravy flavored chip, carrot, the whole nine yards. Give me Thanksgiving Day Pringles. Brock's, you have set the bar and I am thoroughly impressed. Goodness gracious, I think we might be achieving the future, or I might just be achieving cavities. Either which way, thank you very much for joining me. And unlike most marketing campaigns and most Walmarts, thank you for joining me for a Thanksgiving video and acknowledging the existence of said holiday. I bid you all adieu.